Hi there, I'm Hyperfreeze Games and today I wanted to start a new video series here on my YouTube channel. So after my first game release on Steam called Narrowwoods Hotel, you should check it out, it's free, link in the description, I started to change engines to Godot, which uh, let me um, play around in the 3D side of game development. And with this came the necessity to now start making assets and game art in a 3D modeling program. And while Blender is awesome, uh, it kind of was overwhelming for me. So this is where Blockbench came in, which is free, open source, I believe, and has everything you need for this kind of retro, low poly, low res textures kind of 3D modeling. So I wanted to start this series in parts because I just wanted to to make whatever model I wanted to and show you guys and let you in on the process of everything um, to hone my skills, so to speak, in a very low risk <laughs> environment. So instead of just making game assets directly and um, failing, I wanted to just try the, the the program out and yeah, just get used to everything and and get better at 3D modeling. So today we wanted to start with something um, of my own creation as well, which um, regular viewers of the channel uh, know, um, which is, let me get the reference image. This little guy. So this is the pig, the protagonist, so to speak, of my Wild Hour um, Game Boy uh, project or Game Boy-esque game project. And I thought about starting with with some food or with some, uh, I don't know, like a Game Boy. But then I thought maybe I want to do something that no one else has done in this in this shape or form. So, without further ado, just uh, let me jump into it and start modeling this Game Boy-esque sprite and see how it turns out. So let's just start with the body and we do that by just adding a cuboid in the middle here. and. Uh, what I'm now trying to do is just get this cube into this more belly-shaped uh, form. <laughs> Alright, and this is where we, what we ended up with. So it's kind of roundish. It kind of looks like a belly, I think. So I added the texture um, just with the, with the base Game Boy Color I have defined here for my game. And what you can do in block bench now is just paint over it. Um, maybe the pixel density is too high, but we can always change this later on. Uh, next up, before we move on to the head, I will just um, start with making the um, like the feet and the hands because I think the head is the most important part, so I want to... Um, yeah, kind of save it for last, right? I made a body group where I add meshes now. Just add this cube, make it smaller. Yeah, and kind of eyeball where it needs to go, um, how big it needs to be, because these feet are kind of stumpy. So let's just try to kind of get this look in. All right, the leg looks good enough in my opinion. Create another texture for it um, with the same base color. Um, all right, looks good so far. I added a new group over here where I um, added the leg left because these groups, they work as sort of these um, bones as well for if you want to pose it or animate it later. So I will stick with the left leg for now because you can always, if it's fully textured and uh, 
yeah, paint it over. You can duplicate it and you'll completely, um, yeah, skip a whole like redundant step there. All right, let's move on to the arm where I'll pretty much do the same. I go to the body, add a bone and I call it arm left and add another cuboid and yeah let's see where we can take this boy all right the arm is finished as well also nothing too fancy but it like communicates the idea pretty well what it's supposed to be and i think from the proportion proportions and everything it looks good enough um, according to our little preview of the sprite here um, all right, I gave it a texture as well with the same base color and now let's move on to the head. Create another group, call it head. Um, yeah, as I said, this is kind of the, not, not a cube, I want a cuboid. Uh, the most, impart, uh, most important part because yeah, the, the head just needs to look right. Just add it directly on top. And yeah, as well with the sprite, it's kind of chunky, um, but we want it a bit more round, of course, um, for the 3D model because yeah, just wouldn't look right if it had, if he had this box head and yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right, the hat looks good in my opinion. Proportions are um, quite right, I believe. Also for the head, I need a snout, um, which is a pretty prominent part of this little piggy. Um, and let's just try it as well using a cuboid. Um, something like that. Maybe the proportions are not there yet. It just needs to go a bit wider, not that wide. Yeah, I don't want it to to take up too much space in the face. So maybe we'll dial it down just a bit. For painting, you just go over here and press the paint button. Um, yeah, and now you're you're in this different menu and you can toggle the grid on and off which helps like visualize how it will look like the end result you got a lot of things at your proposal like the paint bucket eraser copy brush and so on so yeah i will just start with the hat as i said it's the most important part and just get the base colors in like the slightest one uh, for the snout um yeah and it's coming along quite nicely, I believe. I, we took some liberties with, with pixel density over here. Um, but all in all, I think it already looks quite similar. <laughs> um, I just need to figure out how to set the... Uh, because if I want it unshaded, I need to figure out how to create the shadows, where to, to put them, where to put the highlights, um, which could um, prove quite difficult, but yeah, just see how it goes. All right, so far so good. Uh, the harsh shadows like on this pixel sprite just didn't really work. Like if you would put it like all the way like so, it would just look kind of wrong. Um, so I got rid of these. Maybe I will reintroduce some of the shadows over there. Um, yeah, same with the hand. Maybe we can do something like, um, like just give it this little pop over here. Maybe I'll do some highlighting over there as well. And yeah, let's see where we can go from here. All right, for the leg, I gave him this hoof kind of look. Um, which I 
didn't have the pixel density for the <laughs> for the Game Boy sprite, but whoops. But yeah, for for this higher pixel density, um, I could afford just like painting in this little um, this little hoof. But yeah, all in all, it looks good in my opinion. Um, and let's see, let's finish this uh, up. Let's just duplicate the arm or the leg. Oh yeah, we need to be in edit mode. Let's just duplicate the leg and flip it, whoops. And it all automatically renames it. Same with the arm, duplicate, flip it on the X axis. And now it looks kind of cool in my opinion. Um, all right, now I'm trying to get the diorama in and let's see how this turns out. All right, I just overdid some more of the texturing. I added some shadows here and on the eyebrow area. And also I got him this little pig's tail, which <laughs> works quite nice, I believe. Um, I don't know how much I want to shade it, but I think like this looks cool. Um, yeah, because you never see his backside in the Game Boy Sprite. I just had to improvise, but yeah, turned out pretty well. And now up to the diorama. All right, all done. So I just imported this sprite sheet I had ready for my Game Boy game itself and kind of placed some or a lot of blocks right here and textured it accordingly. So I think the look is not quite fitting because it lacks the or it, it's like there's no black outline um, there's a lot less texture but like it's the same for the character in the Game Boy game or Game Boy-esque game I should say um, but it doesn't pop out like that like it does um, with the 3D model but other than that I'm actually quite happy I mean as from a game design perspective it's not that bad to have your main character pop out like that. If we shade everything, it looks even less like it's popping out weirdly. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy. This is the final result. <laughs> and let's take a look how it looks in motion. And this concludes the first video in this hopefully very cool uh, low poly modeling series. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I'm planning on doing these videos as this short, shorter format and not that in depth. Um, but yeah, I still think it's enjoyable to watch the process and like going from idea to um, the finished product. And yeah, with that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out the teaser for my new horror game in the description below. Check out Narrow Woods Hotel on Steam. It's free. And see you in the next video. Bye.